This video is going to look at the cloud. So we'll look at what is the cloud, how do you get the cloud, and how do you use the cloud on your iPad. So what is the cloud? And it, essentially it allows you as an individual to subscribe to data storage and computing capacity that's stored up on the internet and you access that data over the internet. The ones that we will look at in this video is Dropbox and you can access that from dropbox.com, Windows SkyDrive and login.live.com. You need a Microsoft account to, to have a, a Windows SkyDrive. Google Drive, so if you've got a, a Gmail account then you've got access to Google Drive and Box, which is a, another free provider. Each of these services gives you different amounts of storage. So for example, Box gives you 10 gigabytes of storage. So as an individual user, Box gives you 10 gigabyte of storage with a maximum upload size for a file. So no file can be bigger than 250 megabytes. And if you wanted any more of that, then you could sign up uh, as a business user or a starter user and get more space. So 100 gigabytes if you wanted to pay $5 a month. All of these services offer free storage plus additional plans. So Dropbox gives you two gigabytes, uh, but there are ways to get more um, space. So for Dropbox, you get two gigabytes free but you can get 16 gigabyte extra simply by referring other people or linking your mail accounts and various ways to get more uh, space in Dropbox. Or you can start to, you could pay $10 a month, $9.99 and get 100 gigabytes up to 500 gigabytes. Depends what you use. Uh, SkyDrive gives you five gigabytes free. Google Drive 25 gigabytes, and that's linked to your Gmail account and your Google Plus account. They also use the same space. In order to uh, sign up for one of these accounts, you go to one of these websites, create a Gmail account or a Microsoft account or a Dropbox account or a Box account. So if I wanted a Dropbox account, I can sign up. And all you've got to provide is your name, an email address, and a password, and then sign up. And then you'll have a, an email that you'll have to verify. Once you've got the accounts, you sign in. So I've signed into my Dropbox account, and these are documents and files, photos, anything that I want to put up into the cloud. When you create one of these cloud accounts, you need to download the client software so that any files you copy into the client software will immediately be synchronized, synced to your account. So I'm using a Mac and in the finder is the client software for all the various storage accounts that I'm using. So I have a Dropbox folder and all those files there are the same files that are sitting in my Dropbox account on the internet, which I'll show you in a moment. The cloud drive is from Amazon and you can get with an Amazon account you can also get some storage from them. Uh, Google Drive, so all the files here are also available on the internet in my Google Drive account. I've got a SkyDrive folder as well. And anything that I want to copy up to the cloud, I simply take it from my documents folder. So any file here for example. I took a, let's take a picture. So There's a picture of the dog eating the cat's dinner. So I'm going to copy it rather than drag it over because if I drag it, it disappears from the pictures folder and will stay in the Dropbox folder. So I'm going to Dropbox and I've got a folder for the dog. So I'll just paste it into that. So there's the, the picture and uh, you can see at the top here it's synchronizing, it's being loaded, uploaded to my Dropbox account on the internet. So here's the both folders visible. The one on the left is the, the finder with the Dropbox folder open and this is the actual Dropbox account and you can see it's the same files there. 
these ones in the finder are the same as these ones. And if we go down into the Harry folder and open it, there's the, the picture. It's in my Dropbox account. It's also on my uh, Dropbox folder here. And if I took it out of there, if I delete it out of that folder, trash it, it's going to synchronize and delete it, as you saw there, immediately comes out of the, the Dropbox folder. So it's a way of putting files from, from your computer into your storage space in the internet, and then you can download them to the iPad. I mean, the, the whole point of using cloud storage is to use it as a, a way of getting files and documents and photos and videos on and off your iPad. Whatever cloud storage service you have, Dropbox, Windows SkyDrive, Google Drive, Box, these are all free options. They all allow you to do the following things. You can auto upload photos. So by setting a, a little button on your uh, iPad, any photo that you take in the camera roll can automatically be uploaded to Dropbox, for example. So you've got a backup of all your photos. Each of them have mobile apps. If I wanted to download my photos from Google Drive, I could use the Google Drive app on the iPad. You can use your cloud storage to back up your documents and files. So uh, not everything on your hard drive is going to fit up there, but maybe important documents can be backed up and stored online. You can also transfer files from your computer, whether it's a desktop or a laptop. Any file on a computer that you want to get onto your iPad can be transferred using the cloud. You can also send big files. So instead of sending a photo that's very large using email, you can put it into your Windows SkyDrive folder, share it out, get a link, send a link to somebody, and then they can download the photo without sending huge files. You can also share your files and photos, so similar to the previous one. Share whole uh, folders full of photos or folders of files and embed them or get a link and give the link to the other person or people. Because the other thing you can do is collaborate. Uh, it may be a document, a word processing document that you're working on. Uh, you load it up, you upload it to one of the cloud services, and then other people could collaborate many, uh, also at the same time. In part two of this video, I'm going to look at how to use all of the cloud services on your iPad. So you do need to download the mobile apps for all of the cloud services. So just go into the App Store and search for each of them. Here's Google Drive and download them. They're all free. I'll see you for video two.